Hello friends, welcome to the another tutorial from Cloud Portal. And today in this session, we are going to see uh, how to push our project from local machine to Azure DevOps repo. Okay, so as you can see here, I I am already logged in into my Azure DevOps account, and you can see I have one project named as Cloud Portal Web App. Okay, and we can see my project repository over here. Right. So first we are going to create a new project. So you just simply have to click on new project and we will give uh, the name to the project as demo ASP net core app. Okay. And we'll keep it as a private. Okay. We'll put the description same as it is and we'll use version control as git and we click on create. Okay, so now as you see here, our new project has been created and you can see all the things, summary, dashboard, wiki, boards, repo, pipeline, test plan, all the features have been added to this project. Okay. And as we see in repos, there is no any project added yet. Okay. So we are going to add a project from our local repo to Azure DevOps repository. So first we are going to create a simple project. So if you can see, I will paste this link in description so you can go there. Okay. Or rather, uh, and you can click on this first, create an ASP core app on any platform in five minutes. Okay. So we'll open this link and follow the steps to create our first project, ASP.NET core project. Okay. So, I'm just navigating to the, I have opened my command prompt. Okay. So it is a PowerShell CLI. I have opened that and then we'll go to E drive. We we'll just click on DIR and you can see, I will navigate to the DevOps practice and we'll going to create one uh, demo app here. Okay. So we'll just uh, go to this web page and we'll copy, create a web, a web app project just copy it and paste it here okay then they are saying trust development certificate so for that you have to copy this okay and then uh, they are saying to navigate so we will navigate to the Okay, we have navigated to this folder ASP.NET Core and then we have to run this command. Okay, and now what it will done, it has opened this page. Okay, so you are able to see that we have created a new simple project with using ASP.NET Core. Okay. So I'll uh, go to my PC in E drive. So you will able to see this all files have been generated and this name we have given to our repo. Okay. So now what we want to do, we want to push this repo to our Azure DevOps portal. Okay. So in our Azure DevOps portal, we, we are having currently having two projects. Okay. So cloud portal web app and demo ASP net core app. So we want to push our code to this project demo ASP net core app. Okay. So first, uh, what I'm going to do, I'll just clear the screen first. Okay. So for pushing the project, we, we are using a Git. Okay. So first we are going to, uh, so you can see here, I have already installed Git on my PC. So it is 2.334.0 version. Okay. So first we have to navigate, we have to go to this path. Okay. We have to navigate to this path. So I'm already in this path and we will just first initiate the Git repository. Okay. So initialize empty Git repository. Okay. So you can see 
after initializing the initializing the git uh, you can able to see hidden git repository or okay so now with the help of that we can track our files okay so we'll first see the git status so it will show all these project files that have not been tracked by git yet okay so first we will stage that file so for staging we will use git add dot command okay so now git has staged all these files okay and now if you see git status okay it is showing that all these files are in stage state okay so we have to commit that file uh, files first okay so we'll use git commit hyphen m will give name as my first commit okay and we have to click on enter so all the files are now been committed okay and now we can see git status so it is showing nothing to commit and we can check it by command git log so you can see first commit has been created and it is named as my first commit okay now we have our uh, we can see we have our local project repository here okay and we want to push that to our azure devops project which is demo asp net core app okay so if you can see here there are two options clone to your computer so if you already have any repo and you want to clone then you can use this option and second option push an existing repository from client command line okay so we have to copy this command see git remote add origin this is our azure devops address this is our uh, organization cloud portal 351 and demo uh, demo asp net core app this is our project okay and within project we want to push our repository so we will copy that and we simply have to paste here okay so i am going to press enter and you can see this command executed successfully then now we have to use this command git push hyphen u origin all so what it will do it will push all your local project repo to this remote azure devops repo okay so we i am going to paste that command and i am going to click on enter okay so you can see here all the files from our uh, local repo has been pushed to our azure repo then simply you have to refresh this page or you just have to click on repo again okay and now you will you will able to see our all all the code from our repo has been showing here right and we can go and see in commits so this is our first commit that name is showing here and i will show you in git log so this is our same commit that has been showing here so this is the way you can uh, push your local repo to azure devops okay now uh, now we are going to see how to clone an existing repo from azure devops to your local repository okay so for that i am going to create a folder here called as asp net core local repo okay now we have to navigate to this path okay so as you can see here this repository is empty okay and you can see there is no files in there okay and we can also go okay and see this folder there is no files okay so first we have to check if git is there or not so it is showing that it is not a git repository so first we have to initiate git okay we have to initialize git then for that we have to use git init command okay and now it is showing that 
initialize empty git repository okay so git is initialized how you can cross verify that you can see dot git hidden folder is created okay then you uh, then you simply have to go to your azure devops portal okay in the project from which uh, you want to clone the repository okay so you have to navigate to your project then you have to click on repo okay and then you have to click on clone okay so you have to copy this path okay so i have copied copied this path and then you simply have to type git clone and you have to paste that path okay and you simply have to click on enter and as you can see all the repo has been cloned to your local repo okay you can see here by putting dir command okay so there is one folder is showing then we will navigate to this folder and you can see all the files have been cloned here and the same way if we go our asp.net core local repo folder there is one repository that had been copied from azure devops portal and you can see all the repo from your remote machine has been copied to your local machine okay so this is the way you can push your code from your local repo to your azure devops project or you can clone uh, your azure devops or remote repo to your local repo so this is all for today's video if you like my video then hit the like button and if you not uh, yet subscribe to my channel then please subscribe to my channel and please press the notification icon so you're not going to miss uh, further upcoming videos and keep watching keep learning thank you